Welcome to the ITDVDs.com YouTube channel. This is just a sample of the training available at ITDVDs.com. If you would like to see complete training, please go to ITDVDs.com. Now let's begin the sample. When we think about powering on or powering off a virtual machine, we can think about it just like we would in the physical world. So if I've got a desktop sitting under my desk, in order to power it on, I have to press the power button. If I want to shut it down or power it off, I have a couple different ways of doing it. Within the operating system, I can shut it down, or I can press and hold the power button, or I can just pull the plug out completely. Now, obviously, certain methods are better for certain situations. If your operating system is running fine, normally you wouldn't want to press and hold the power button or yank the power cord uh, because it might cause problems with your operating system. Likewise with a virtual machine. So we'd probably want to shut it down gracefully from within the operating system. But what about if it blue screened? Well, we can't really shut it down gracefully, so normally we either hit the power button or we pull the plug. Same goes with a virtual machine. Now to power a virtual machine on, we can press the play button here and highlight it, or we can actually open the console, and we'll talk about the console a little bit more in depth here in a bit, but we can press the play button from here, the power on button, go to VM, power, and power it on is another way we can power it on. So we've got multiple ways we can turn on a virtual machine. I'm just going to hit the power on button from the console here. And this is one of the virtual machines we created earlier, so it doesn't have an operating system on it. And so it's just going to post and sit there and basically say, I don't have an operating system. Now notice there's a few other buttons here. What looks like a stop button is actually a shut down guest button. This is the suspend button, which looks like a pause button. And also we have a restart guest button. The restart guest button and the shut down guest button can only be used when VMware Tools is installed. And we're going to talk about VMware Tools here in a bit. But what they do is they basically gracefully shut down the guest operating system, and this one gracefully reboots the guest operating system. But since this virtual machine does not have an operating system installed or VMware Tools, we have to shut it down and power it off. So basically a hard power off. To do that, we'd go to VM, Power, Power Off, or we could actually right click on the virtual machine, go to power, and select power off. So just so we can see what it looks like, I'm going to go to VM, power, power off. And it says ensure that you have your guest operating system shut down for powering off. This is letting you know this is a hard power off. So if your operating system is running and you do this, it can cause problems. It's just like pulling the plug. I'll click yes, and it's going to go ahead and shut it down. Let me just power it back up for a second. Now what about if we want to do a hard reset? So let's say it blue screens and we want to basically push the power button or pull the plug and put the plug back in and push the power button. So it's a hard reset. So that, that would be if it blue screens or something like this. And notice I got a little uh, bar here that says there are now two active connections. That's because I use the console tab which we'll see here in a second. Uh, to access this virtual machine also. So I'll go ahead and close out. So if I want to perform a hard reset, I just go to VM, Power, and click Reset. Click Yes. So it's basically pushing the power button, making it shut down, and pushing the power button again and firing it up. Now let's take a look at a virtual machine that has VMware tools installed. For example, Desktop 1. I'm just going to open up the console here. Now if I want to gracefully shut down this virtual machine, I can go up here and use the shut down guest. I'll do that so you can see what it looks like. It says shut down guest operating system of this virtual machine, click yes. And it's just like I went to the start menu and selected shut down. There you can see it's gracefully shutting down. If I want to power it back up, I can just hit the power on button. Now what about if we want to gracefully reboot it? 
we can use the restart guest button. Now VMware Tools has to be started in order to use it, and VMware Tools is a service, so it may take a second to start it up. For example, if I click Restart Guest, okay, it was already started. If the VMware Tools wasn't started, it would give me a warning and saying, hey, VMware Tools isn't running. you got to wait till it's running, and then you can restart it. So I'll go ahead and click Yes, and it's going to gracefully reboot this machine. Now these come in handy if we've got 20 or 30 virtual machines in here and we need to either shut them all down or maybe reboot them all for some reason. It would take a long time to log in to each operating system and go to the start menu and click shut down or click reboot. It's much faster to just highlight it, click the shut down button or click the reboot button. And one of the last thing I want to show you is the suspend button. I'm going to go ahead and log in so just we get the full effect of suspend basically what suspend is going to do is it's going to pause the virtual machine anything that's in memory it's going to write it to a file on your data store and then it's not going to use any more resources on your ESX host it's also not going to be accessible because it's going to be suspended for example here I'm just going to open up notepad and type this machine is suspended so notepad is in memory right now it's not uh, a program that's on disk or this file is on disk and I'm gonna go up here and press the suspend button I could also do it from the vSphere client over here or go to VM power and click on suspend so they all do the same thing click yes and let's take a look at the progress here. It's going to take a couple minutes to suspend it depending on how much memory your virtual machine has because remember it's writing it to disk. Okay, and that virtual machine was successfully suspended. If we go ahead and take a look on the host, it's actually not using up any memory or processor. And it's also not accessible. If I wanted to restore this virtual machine to the state it was in when we paused it or suspended it, I'll go ahead and click power on. And there it is. And it may take a couple of minutes in order for it to be functional again because it's got to take what it wrote to disk and put it back into memory. And once it's functional, we can use it just like we left it. The final thing I want to show you is we can actually change what these buttons do. This is the default. For example, this one to restart the guest and this one to shut down the guest. If I go to VM, Edit Settings, I could also right click on it and go to Edit Settings in the vSphere client. Go to Options, select VMware Tools, and over here we can change what these power controls do. Now the virtual machine does have to be shut down in order to do this, so I'll go ahead and click cancel, or at least uh, we have to close the console. I'll just go ahead and right click on server 01, click edit settings, options, go to VMware tools, and here we can change it so that it will power off the uh, virtual machine, so it's a hard power off, instead of actually shutting down the guest and we could change the well, suspend is the only thing we've got for that button or reset for this particular button this reboot button so that's a way we can customize our controls